Hey, what's up, people? It is me, Quan Credible, here to bring you another video. Now, today, this one is going to be about Key in Black Clover and just a lot of things surrounding it. But yes, without any filler or BS, we're just going to go straight into this one. Now, Key, by any means, is not a foreign concept to actual life or a lot of other animes. Typically, Key is characterized as a internal energy or sort of spiritual energy. But specifically in Black Clover, it is a natural energy that all things have. And by natural energy, what I mean by that is for living beings, it would be whatever internal energy just resides inside of them. Kind of almost kind of equivalent to a life force, but kind of different from that. And then for non-living beings, it would just be just a natural energy that just things give off. Now, due to key being a internalized energy, it's only natural that everyone's key would be different almost like a scent or like a fingerprint if you will so for example if someone is an experienced key user they'd be able to distinguish people just by reading their key or sensing their key now in black clover key is definitely not to be confused with mana or magic um, as we've seen mana or magic is what people use to fuel their spells in black clover whereas key we haven't seen it to possess any abilities like that quite yet now, I know in other shows like Dragon Ball Z, for example, the most popular one, the characters in that show can take their key and fire it off in blast. But we haven't seen any such thing in Black Clover as of yet. So, at least to our knowledge, it doesn't work that way here. Now, since key is a natural energy inside of all things, it can fluctuate. Now, whether this is intentional or not is up to the user's skill. As we see when Asa was fighting Kaito during the Sea Temple games or whatever they were doing. Asta wasn't necessarily able to get a read on Kaito's key. Now whether that was due to Kaito's ability to change it or manipulate his own or just his dance magic making it hard to read. But judging from the small display and in their fight, it is possible for key to shift and vary and almost make it difficult to read. That being said, we also have seen that it is possible to be aware of key but not know how to use it or even harness it. As we see during the zombie attack, Asta heard a voice or felt a presence and we later saw that it was Valtos hiding in a like stack of dead bodies which is really morbid when you think about it but he was hiding out and he felt his presence just from his key even though Valtos stated that he was suppressing his magic all the way down and it wasn't even until later when Yami actually explained it to Asta what he felt and what was going on and more or less how to channel it. Now, what being aware of key actually does for you is you'll be able to sense or read other people's key, which when people go to attack or move a certain way, people's energy will naturally fluctuate to match their movements or their intentions, so to speak. So being aware of this, being able to see it and read it, you can naturally more or less predict what someone's going to do or how they're going to move or where they're going to attack, which is an immense aid in battle. However, one blaring weakness to this is, take Asta again, for example, even though he can read key, say he's fighting someone that is actually just way faster than him, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if you know what's coming, if you're not fast enough to, to stop it, knowing it's coming is irrelevant. However, in Black Clover's universe, this is highly uncommon seeing as it's mostly based on magic and just firing off spells and who just has a big mana pool. Being able to outmaneuver people is more or less underappreciated. As far as key users, the only ones that we know about so far would be Yami and Asta and Veto or Vito, whatever his name is, uh, from the Midnight Sun. Um, not really sure if Kaito knows about it. I mean, he is able to fluctuate his key, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's as apt a user as the previous three that I just named. A lot of the other characters don't use key in Black Clover. It also it almost seems like they're not aware of it. And I mostly believe this is due to just there's a lack of information I feel like in the Clover Kingdom about what key even is and also the measures you have to go through to even obtain it. Just because to actually use and harness key it requires immense physical intuitiveness, which is akin to like training and really developing your body and being more one with yourself whereas this world or this culture that the clover kingdom has the nobles have more or less established that training is a sign of weakness so they've kind of more or less shifted away from it but yeah that about wraps it up so yeah as always if you have any good ideas for topics just let me know i am actually like listing all these i'm not just ignoring them <laughs> so yeah, if you have any good ideas 
let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to get to them at some point in my life eventually. But yeah, Quan Credible out, and I will see you guys in my next video.